Uber and Lyft drivers now need to worry about another thing. And that's what we're talking about today. Hey everyone, my name is Chris and this is Real Ride Share Stories. And today we have something that I came across on a Facebook post from one of the groups that I belong to. And I want to share this with you because this is just another thing that drivers need to watch out for and not take advantage of if ever offered this type of scenario. All right. So as you see on the screen right now, this is the story what had happened and said, so I went to pick up this passenger who was at a gas station a few minutes ago. He was literally going 0.2 miles up the road. Dude gets in and says, hi, here's what I have going on. That white truck over there has a salvage title and I need you to drive it to the highway patrol station so I can get it inspected and get it rebranded to a rebuilt title. I would do it, but I don't have a valid driver's license. I will give you $50 to do it. I told him as generous as that sounds, I'm not interested and he'll have to find another way to get the task done. So he gets out of the car and I pull up to a vacant spot and wait out the timer so I get paid my cancellation fee and he comes walking out of the building with a woman that was undisclosed during his little trick. They both hop in the truck and take off. I'm not going to jump to any assumptions as to what they were up to or would have been up to, but I got my opinion. Either way, be extra careful out here. I called and reported it to the driver safety who told me that was a major concern and will be jumping on it immediately. All right, that sounds pretty fishy right from the get go. And this driver was smart because, yeah, this could be a real potential problem. Good thing he reported it. The only other thing I would recommend doing is you might want to call and report it to the police as well. And if you have the ability to take down the plate number, especially when they go and get in the truck after giving you that story, I would highly suggest making sure that you get that plate number and report it to the police. Again, this is just another thing to watch out for when driving because you never know what some people have up their sleeve, especially with everything that's going on in Chicago. People are becoming very desperate, trying to make money, trying to get money, and they don't care who they're affecting, what they're doing, or breaking the law. So make sure you stay very vigilant. Make sure you know everything that's going on around you. Pay attention to these things and just say no when it sounds like it's something that's going to be really fishy or really suspect. All right, now I want to hear your thoughts on this particular story. So comment below with them. And also, have you had something like this happen to you, something similar? And I don't mean where somebody's car breaks down and they need to go get gas or something like that, because pretty much a lot of people have had that. But even that is something that you may want to say no to, especially in today's climate. But again, have you had anything similar to this? And if so, what did you do? Comment below, let everybody know. All right, that's the end of the video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications so you'll be notified every time a new video is uploaded. And as always, never drink and drive. Always tip your drivers, your delivery drivers, and your shoppers. And we'll see you next time.